All right, what's up everybody? We're back with another video and in today's video, I will be reviewing the Arteryx Atom LT jacket. I have it right here in a black colorway in a size large. I managed to pick up this jacket around two months ago and I will finally be reviewing it today. So if you would like to see more videos like this, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like down below. I do have a few other jacket reviews on the way slash sweater reviews. I have the Gamma MX from Arteryx review coming out soon. I have the Yeezy Gap hoodie coming out soon. And I also have a review of the Yeezy round jacket, which still hasn't gotten here. And I ordered it back in July, I believe. So hopefully it shows up soon. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. And let's get started with the review of the Atom LT jacket. So I'm currently wearing the jacket and I have worn it around five to six times so far I would say and I am very impressed so far. The quality is very good and it is very warm as well. I will read some of the description of the jacket just so you guys are a little bit more familiar with it. So starting off this is the Arteryx Adam LT hoodie jacket. They also make a vest of this jacket as well as a jacket without the hood. And this jacket is light, versatile, synthetically insulated hoodie. Works as a mid-layer and standalone. Atom Series, synthetic insulated mid-layers. LT stands for lightweight. They also make the Atom jacket as an Atom AR. And the AR stands for all round. So LT is lightweight and the Atom AR is all round. And I managed to pick this one up used on the Arteryx website. They do have a used section for around 182 months ago. Right now the used section is looking a little scarce since a lot of the product is being bought up. But I do recommend to check it pretty frequently, maybe every other day if you are interested in picking something up for a little bit below retail. And the jackets do come in great and excellent condition. So be sure to be on the lookout for jackets on there. All right, so the three things that I will be going over in this review are quality, sizing slash fit, and then value slash pricing. We'll start off with quality. So when it comes to the quality on this jacket, I would say it is very nice. It does keep me very warm. I wore it today when it was raining, and although it isn't waterproof, it is very water resistant. So as long as it's not pouring too bad, this thing could withstand the rain. And yeah, so I would say the quality is very good. Um, the material is pretty stretchy on, on it, so I wouldn't worry about it ripping. So when it comes to the materials used on this jacket, you do have a nylon for the outside of the jacket. And then on the inside, which kind of feels like a fleece, is a polyester material. So the inside is very warm, in case you guys are wondering about that. It does feel like it is double layered. So on the outside, you get the polyester. No, on the outside, you get the nylon, and on the inside, you get the polyester, which is very nice. It does keep me very warm. And I would say it is pretty wind resistant as well when it's pretty windy outside. I don't normally feel it. And then let's go over some of the features of this jacket as well. So on the inside, you do get a nice zipper pocket. So if you wanna store anything more secure in there, you obviously can. So I like to put my keys in there or maybe my wallet. There's tons of room in there and I'll be sure to get a close up of it as well. When it comes to the Arteryx logo on the outside, it does look like it is a screen print, however it is a 3M screen print, so it is reflective. And then you do get two zipper pockets on the side, which are nice. I usually just put my hands in there or sometimes even my phone. And then on the hoodie, you get this nice cord to adjust it, which I find to be very useful because the hood can be kind of big. However, if you do just pull on the elastic cord, you could adjust it to whatever size you need. You can make the hood pretty small, which is nice. It'll be nice and tight for when it's really cold and uh, rainy outside. And then you also get this elastic cord around the waist in case you need to tighten it and make it more wind resistant so wind doesn't get in through the bottom. And overall, I do like the design of this jacket a lot. All right, moving on to the sizing slash fit. So I went true to size on this jacket. I wear a size large in most of my jackets and I did the same thing here. I went with the size large. If you're unsure which size to get, I would definitely recommend visiting an Arteryx store and trying it on beforehand. That way you get the right size. And I would say it is kind of slim fitting. It isn't too slim fitting. 
So it kind of does hug your body, which makes sense since it's an insulated jacket, so it's meant to keep you warm. I wouldn't want it to be too baggy or anything like that. But I would say the sizing is very good. I got a size large. I am 5'10", 180 pounds. The hood fits me perfectly. I would say that the length is good as well. The width is perfect, so I really have no complaints about the sizing of this jacket. I wouldn't recommend sizing down or sizing up. I'll just recommend trying on one beforehand if you can. If not, just go true to size. I'll also make sure to get some full body pics just so you guys could see how it looks like on body. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the sizing slash fit. So last but not least, let's move on to the pricing slash value. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this jacket is more of an entry level Arterix jacket since a lot of the jackets can run for six to seven hundred dollars. And this one, the Adam LT does retail at two forty nine, brand new. Sometimes you can find them at the Arterix outlet for a little bit under that, and then you can find them on the Arterix U site for like under two hundred. So I would definitely recommend looking at that. However, for under $300, I would say you are getting a lot of bang for your buck since the jacket will last you a very long time. When it comes to how to wash this jacket, I recommend washing it on cold slash cold and then air dry it. Do not put it in the dryer since that can mess up the jacket, especially the screen print. And yeah, I would just recommend air drying it and staying away from the dryer completely. And if you guys do have any more questions about sizing, pricing, and things like that, be sure to let me know down below in the comments. But other than that, that's pretty much it for today's video. I want to thank everybody who's been supporting the channel lately. And other than that, I hope everybody has a great day. I'll catch you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.